Oh, uh, it's pretty easy to kill them if you have compulsive eaters. <laughs> OCD strikes again. Certainly yeah, an alternate ending to it's, it's as good as it gets. Actually, funny story about that. My uh, principal in my second secondary school actually recommended that movie to me when he learned that I had OCD. Oh. Um, what, uh, it ha it basically, if you haven't seen it, it starts Jack, Jack, Nis Jack Nicholson as a really grumpy guy with OCD. And I, I, can't, I don't know how much more I can say without it being too spoilery. So if you don't want to hear spoilers, wait till I start moving my character again. And uh, so five, four, all right, mute it till I uh, come back. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, spoilers. Uh, basically, it's Jack Nicholson playing a really grumpy guy with OCD. Like, seriously, this guy's a major asshole. Major asshole. Um, and it's him, uh, true, uh, basically he falls for a lady, he does that, he tries to be better and there is the str struggle of what, trying to be better and falling back to his old ways and I barely remember the movie. It's been too long, I'm just realizing, I remember bits here and there, but, not, not, uh, but I fear it's not enough to give a good summation. But then again, I have a terrible tendency to lose absolute faith in whatever I say the moment I say it. Like, for example, there's a, a new manga anime after coming out called Hero Mask. And there's a character in it that fucking looks like Benedict Cumber Cumberbatch. Um, and the, I like, post, you know, sent, it on, sent a pic of him and the character to my, mo to my mom and say, like, oh, here's this. And the moment I sent it, it was like, shit, you know, m you know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. Because it's just like, I just completely lost faith the moment I sent it. Terrible, te terrible thing of mine. Again, another thing I need to work on. Um, but yeah, if my recollection serves, yeah, it's, he does fall for a lady, and he does actually try and be better, because, you know, he realizes he's being an asshole, and he has a thing for her. So, um... It did give a very a funny line. Well, it's it's funny insofar as I can't believe they actually said it. You know, it's shock comedy kind of thing. You know, um, I've I remember looking it up in one of my door car videos, and I feel so awkward about it because I'm waiting for someone to just like shit themselves. Um, I'm not gonna say it here. Um. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to repeat it here. Just the fact I'm quoting a character, even if I am admitting that, it, yeah, it's, it's I only find it funny from, like, shock comedy kind of thing. Uh, um, uh, I just feel someone would shit themselves from it. But, um, and it's like fitting with the character and all that. Like, the guy's an asshole. Dude's an asshole. He says something shitty. It just, it's... I just end up finding it funny because from the shock comedy standpoint. Uh, but yeah, I just feel awkward about it, about repeating it. So anyway, uh, I, me I moved w before I meant to, but uh, we'll keep going. We're doing it live, in a sort. But basically, yeah, uh, It's Good As It Gets is actually a good movie. Um, I like it. Uh, you should probably re-watch it. I feel awkward. There's a, I was referencing a line there. I didn't say it. I felt nervous in referencing it. In saying it, because it's a little... Uh, I'm waiting for someone to shit themselves over it. Uh, if I said it. <coughs> so I was nervous in repeating it. But even acknowledging it, and acknowledging the fact I said it in another set when I was feeling less nervous about it, makes me nervous. Makes me feel rather uncomfortable. So, um... 
Uh, yeah. I can't remember where I was going with this. Oh, actually, yeah. I should send that earlier, but anyway. Just, you know, more crystals. Okay. House always wins. Although his surprise attacks were legend, Gareth de Galfo was just as infamous for his gambling addiction. Even now he's said to enjoy wagering on cards or dice. The fact that you can get Admiral Taylor's ring from it implies that Taylor lost his ring to him in a bat. Brings me back, actually. Christ, this would be back when I was in my first secondary school. I had to leave because of constant bullying by students and teachers. But um, yeah, uh, it's good to guess is a good movie. Um, ooh. We just got cheery this time of year, but it's hard to be merry when Grumpus is about. Team World Garrison Events Coordinators. Frostfire Ridge, eh? Mm. Off and away. Hey. A small rock inside? <laughs> Grumplings are horrid creatures. They're the ones doing the dirty work for Grumpus. If you're, to, if you're able to remove the, the threat, I'm sure rescuing children won't be much of a problem. Grumpus. One of notorious stories is the legend of Grumpus. The story tells of a mean-spirited brute that would come in the night in the, de in the dead of winter and kidnap children that misbehaved. Back in his lair, he would present them with awful toys, use their tears to spawn his minions. When Grumpus is a legend, he's real and he's taking our children. Please, you have to slay him. Uh, that mean old Grumpus has amassed a collection of odd gifts. Deliberately, he's trying to crush the spirit of children everywhere by giving the worst gift presents imaginable. Take your spirit bomb, toss on, of Grumpus, uh, toss on some of Grumpus' unusual gifts, and take them out for good. We're in this together, pal and I. Now go save the spirit of the holiday. Very well, then. Amy. Didn't we see her previously? No, uh, that's how me. Uh, I'm thinking of the ape in uh, Mangoro. Easy mistake. Good day to you. Gonna have to go get mo more yeah. sumptuous fur. Also, thinking this really is more wild. I'll go see if there's anything else I could slot in instead of it. Though I suppose I could have it here for... Something here. Can't get these anymore. Oh, I was actually most way there. Ugh. Nice. That's actually rather surprising. Uh, I actually hadn't been keeping track of this. I was keeping track of the, you know, the quest to kill the different races. I'm hope I'm hoping Ashran will come back soon. Then I can get back to this. Then again, maybe it's Ashran will be gone and I won't have a chance to get it. Huh. The 
mythic raiding stuff is under this rather than in the where it should be because it gives a garrison reward that's nonsensical hopefully it's in both places Doesn't seem like there's a need to have that out. Hmm. Alright, I was figuring there might be an achievement associated with it. But there isn't. So, it's a small slot. It's a small world after all. Um, Already have that, already have that. I don't think there's actually anything I could put in here that would be actually any way beneficial for me. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop now in a sec. But, I don't think there's anything I could slot in here that would actually be any way beneficial. Hmm. Trading post is at level 3. Kind of regretting getting that up to level 3, you know, get, boom that all the way up, because I'm thinking I could try and work on the lumber mill. Get that done. Uh, I'll probably want to work on the lumber mill in that regard once I had gotten um, um, once I had gotten flying. Then I can just fly around, e easily flag trees every which way, and away I go. Um, before I log off, let us just. Great Father Winter. Uh, maybe this year I will actually do the Winter. What is it called? Winter Veil? Uh, maybe I will do the Winter Veil stuff this year. I haven't done it in a few years. Did I finish the point I was saying earlier? Because I'm just. Pa I, I just feel awkward. You know, about something. Oh, what was I saying? As good as it gets. Um, it's a good movie. I recommend it. Um, it's a good movie. I recommend it. Um, do need to rewatch it. It's been quite a while since I've seen it, which. Like I was saying, did hurt my ability to summate, summarize it a bit. Plus, like, what I can't remember is it might be too spoilery, or might be fine if I phrase it right for summation. And yeah, I think the real only reason I feel like there's some I'm forgetting was, like, I was got, there was a quote I was, I was thinking of saying, because it's, you know, kind of a shock comedy kind of thing, but I was going to say it because shock comedy tends to be, you know, a bit outrageous. And those figuring some people might take it quite poorly, so it's best if I sidestep it. Though, that being said, I'd actually said it before myself in a dual car episode. Mm. Anyway. Might go edit that out. No. Position seal. Let's go get to all these other stuff. Hold on, let me just send a quick message. Let me just, it'll just load up here. Hey folks, sorry about that. It looks like I won't need to send that message. Uh, but yeah, I need to go finish with these. 
Then I can go have a look at the other buildings here and get the achievements for them. Ooh, excuse me. I've got I've got plenty of scraps. I'd imagine enough for all of this. So it's let's just say they all have fifty, because that's an easy number to work with. Fifty, uh, hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. <coughs> 1,000, uh, 1,100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 2,000. Was it 2,000 or 2,100? That's where I missed. Gold tweed was the preferred food source of rice shoe, but let's face it, they'll eat anything. Duration 41 more minutes. Still, get ready now. So, yeah, fuck Tom. I uh, need 2,000 of it. Alright, back to it, so. Welcome. What should I get for the uh, other bit? Uh, 98. That's so, uh, a reasonable amount. So, let's get rid of. Welcome. You, you, and you. Need to go get all those transmogs. Once that's... Actually, I probably don't need to get them all. I think I already got some. But once that's done... Then I... Oh, I have this. Is this for a item? Or a temporary thing? Probably an item. A toy of some sort. But yeah, once I get that done, I can go build one of these and start working on achievements associated with this. I'm sure there's achievements associated with all these. I also... I <coughs> uh, can get working on this. Uh, Delver's done, so I can go start working on her. Actually, Kick you out for a moment. I then have these two to work on. The Talon Priest and Tormok. Um, uh, they could have done so much with this expansion and they just gave up on it. It's sad. Random orc crying. Spooky. He's sad with me about the fate of Wad. But yeah, I need to go get more fur um, for this. At some stage, I'm going to drop mining, pick up tailoring again, uh, mass produce bags, and then go back to mining. What's on your mind? Oh Christ, uh, well, I got cleared out there. Actually, some of that could be from the other day when I was picking stuff out to sell. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what it's from. And I forgot about that for a moment. Uh, I was actually going to log out here, but I never scrapped the stuff in my inventory. And I want to do it while I'm thinking of it. It's sad. It looks like Battle for Azeroth might be another wad. Though regrettably wad was actually more enjoyable for me than Battle for Azeroth. Look at it. I compare the amount of Battle for Azeroth videos I've made thus far to the amount of WAD videos I've made. In totality. Keep in mind I did lose a bit of footage there in WAD, but it still wouldn't measure up to the amount of Battle for Azeroth videos. I'm not going the wrong way. Battle for Azeroth videos I've made. And keep in mind this is only Battle for Azeroth content. I haven't gone on tangents back to other stuff, like I did in Legion around this time. Good day to you. Uh, covering the Toxified Blight. That's a bizarre concept to me. I don't know why I'm holding on to this, but I am. Ooh, brilliant. I got some Titan Residual. And, ooh, I just got 12 Titan Residual. Fantastic. You know, I need to go do a, a nice Mythic Weekly.
I'll see. I'll I'll toss it up in uh, the guild Discord if anyone's interested. I'm not very really sure how interested I am, but I know I'm into it right now. I'm I'm gonna go with it. I'm actually also gonna go see if there's an. Uh, I'm gonna do a few auctions before I go, but I do have to go. Um, need to move when the dogs around before he gets into trouble. And yeah, we will sort this. Take this out. Take this out. Take this out. What else? What else? What else? What else? So this, we hold on to solid stone. Did I ever make the uh, Weijin Mount? I'm missing the blood of Sagaris. I think I sent people off on missions to get that. I was trying to figure out what... Because uh, I swore these could be used for something. Boom dust, here's something. Toughened flesh. We have the vendor dem for something. Also, I should go to the mailbox. Uh, I can do that in Iron Forge. And actually, before we go uh, to Iron Forge, let's head to Dahl. We can head to our order hall via, via Dahl, and we can see what my garrison people are up to. Also, I really like the whole garrison kind of idea, sending people off on missions, having like this base management aspect. I really like that. Uh, and it's the order hall, not garrison. No, I said it right first. I said it right first time. Uh, but yeah, I like the garrison idea of having a base, building it up, building things, sending people off on missions, or you go do other things. I really like that aspect. I really like that. I love a game that did it right. Hello, hello, folks, and ooh, let me mute this. Uh, hello, hello, folks, and welcome to a post commentary. The, uh, yeah, welcome. To, uh, well, yes, well, welcome to post commentary. I had to do for this episode. Um, basically, there was a point I was making there. I was talking about, uh, you know, I really like games with the like, base aspect to them. While you're off on doing things, the base is working and whatnot. There was a game that I saw, and it seemed to be right up my alley. But basically, um, I don't feel comfortable. Let's play. I've been talking about this a bit on Twitter. Also, the music you're hearing right now is the Christmas is the Wintervale music from Ironforge. Um, I just had since I'm doing post commentary, it, I decided to record this so you at least have something to listen to, music-wise, rather than just me nodding in the background. So anyway, um, yeah, I didn't feel comfortable with playing that game, and the reason for that is. Uh, there's a controversy, I've, and I've talked about this controversy on Twitter um, a while back. Uh, this is, might be coming out in early 2020, or very late 2019. I'm having a look at the backlog uh, that I've uploaded so far, and it's like in September, so I've been thinking this the back, this was further ahead than it was. But it was, might have been back in 2017 or early 2018. It's hard to be sure. I think it's maybe early 2018. But uh, PewDiePie said a rather questionable word in a video. So devs took it upon themselves to punish them in their videos. Basically, like he did Let's Play the Firewatch. He said a bad, bad word in a different game. So the Firewatch devs sought to punish him for it. And the Guild of the Engineering devs cheered them on, supporting that. Um, that whole thing has got me really uncomfortable and generally paranoid. 
while well, I have no real inclination to say whatever that word was, people have a tendency not to just say, okay, we're pushing this here, we're going no further. People want to, like, oh, we got away with that, let's push it further and further. Other, uh, while others may be like, oh, they're going to beat up their pet Satan, why don't we? And so they'll start pushing their way. You know, it can go a variety of different ways, but basically, if a developer is so eager to start acting as a divine arbitrator of what you may say, they, you know, in, in one case, I'll be nervous for them to start opening it in others. And they, while they weren't the people behind the game that I had my eye on, another crowd was, I'm just so paranoid that about it basically so I'm just you know one thing or another just made me feel uncomfortable and because of that I don't feel comfortable let's playing it just I don't want it you know them screw me over you know so yeah but yeah that's basically all it was was there's a game that that was really cool it was really up my alley but I just don't feel comfortable with playing it because of the devs they as they said or did something that made me feel uncomfortable and to combine that with what the other devs do of pretending to be divine arbitrators and trying to punish you for that it's it just doesn't make me feel comfortable at covering their content um, while the other devs the devs of the game I wanted to let's play they didn't do anything of sort I'm just paranoid that they'll fall suit you know, you don't really know till it happens, and so I'm just extra careful. So, yeah. Um, I think I've finished my point there, really. I, the reason why uh, I am post commentating all of this is so much is because I kept remaking the point, kept feeling like I was making it right. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Basically, a long story short. There was a game I wanted to do, but the dev said or did something that made me feel uncomfortable, and so I'm too, I am don't feel like I should let's play it. And then, part of the reason is, other devs were, like, they have rules set down for their video policy. But if you break their rules outside of their game, they seek to punish you for it. So, combine the uncomfortability, and then devs overstepping. Even if the other dev the devs in the first case haven't done it, I get paranoid and concerned that they will. So, they might be perfectly fine, or they they might be goits about it. It's impossible to know till it happens, but when it happens, is too late. So, safest thing is to you know just play it safe, you know. It sucks, but them's the breaks. I might be able to do it later on, you know, if I, you know, if what, you know, one thing or another happens, and I feel more comfortable about it. Christ, that is expensive. Two thousand four hundred order resources. Fuck. That was nasty. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I might play the game again at a later stage, but who knows. Well, not play again, but I might play it at another stage, but who knows. sure what to say. Hope the music isn't too well.
I'm just uh, looking at it in the editor right now and maybe you're hearing it differently than I am. I'll have to check in, you know, when I actually edit it together. Um, but what's that really all I wanted to say? I'm doing all some auction work now, and I do love this music. It's it, it is lovely. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, one through that play a game, it had it was right up my alley, but I was uncomfortable about it. Just you know, uh, me being a worry wart. Actually, wait. Okay, I got quest text to read out. I didn't realize that actually. Um, yeah, I felt uncomfortable about it, and that factored in with the other thing made me, you know, want to steer clear of it. Just to be on just to be safe. Cause like I like I said, I know plans in saying that word, but things don't tend to just stay as a solid thing, you know, people push the envelope. For one reason or another. So if if people made it clear that they're willing to do that, I'm nervous being near them because of it. You know? got me nervous now, but because I'm expecting someone to take it the wrong way, intentionally, but uh, there's a little that can be done. But yeah, that's what I was trying to say in this uh, originally. Stolen Champion's War Banner. Hmm, looks cool. Might be that Blizz content you could get. Or maybe something else. No idea. But yeah, uh, that's what I was trying to say in this originally. Was just that... Um, there's a game I w wanted to play, but the combination of devs saying something that made me nervous and the other guys just put me off it. It's a shame, it's sad, but there you go, them's the breaks. Um, well, I know, like I said, I might be able to have to play it again sometime in the future. There's not, you know, if things change, there's none stop me. Um, so yeah. Oh god. I really did spend a lot of time just talking, didn't I? Uh, like I said, like I've said before, sometimes I get nervous and feel like I'm not making a point clearly. So I have to say it again and again until I feel comfortable with it. But it never helps. It's just me being awkward. <sighs> Difficulty, you know, expressing myself sometimes. Especially when I get nervous and whatnot about things, like I have here. Like I did in this originally. Um, so, yeah. Not really sure what to say right now. I could edit this a bit. Chop it down a bit to shrink it. But maybe I could talk about something here, you know? Hmm. It probably, probably might be easier just to find something to talk about than this, then editing while recording the post commentary. This sounds messy. But, um, just looking at the UI there, uh, sometime after I recorded this, like two weeks ago from now, the, uh, the current date of recording this is the 12th to the 1st, 2019. I, um, sent in a take the blizzard at long last. Actually, 
I might have done that in this very set. Or maybe it was the next set. I have no idea. But yeah, I sent a ticket into Blizzard about my Deti pet. I never got it. The thing is, they don't actually, turns out they don't actually have a record of me having a BlizzCon ticket from that year. That's why I don't have it. There's a pet code meant to be sent out to me by DirecTV. Um, but I don't have any emails from them. I don't have the Blizzard ticket. I finally got into my old email account, wh wh where it should be, but it's not there. And we've checked m my mom's accounts at the same time, and it's not there either. Turns out the accounts have been emptied. They're Hotmail accounts, so only like a couple of recent emails, like 20, well less than 20 recent emails, for some reason there's recent emails in them, uh, claims that there's difficulty getting into your Instagram account. I hadn't been trying to use those Instagram accounts. So I guess someone else was using forgot password thing for her account. Whatever. Um, so the accounts are empty. If the email wasn't there, it's gone. So gonna when we get a chance, gonna get mom to message uh, Direct TV, see if they can help. And if they can't, then I've done what I can. I've gone above and beyond trying to get daddy. I hoped I could back my phone up. And get find the email on it, but I just ended up losing whatever I had on my phone pre present. I um, tried to uh, re I, I saved I synced it, but the syncing didn't work. Um, so yeah, I'm stuck with like I've lost all texts from if like a few a few days ago, like maybe a week ago, to uh, from then till back to uh, 2011 so yeah um. Yeah, uh, all of it. I managed to save the pictures, I uploaded them to the iCloud, but yeah, I lost everything else. Um, but yeah, I went above and beyond for it, trying to get it. So, you know, I did what I could. If I don't get it, you know, it sucks. I, I wish I did. But, mm, it's fine. And, you know, kind of be honest, it's actually really rough seeing all the old messages and. Uh, texts between me and my mom, me and my aunt, all the old emails. It was, it was actually kind of rough. It's, it's rough. I was tweeting about it a bit on Twitter back when I did it. So, you know, go back a few days. Well, if you're really that interested, you know, you can try and find it on my Twitter account. By the time this comes out, though, you'll probably have to go back out like a year or best part of one, depending. So, probably no, probably best part of a year. This is probably still in 2019. This probably didn't get into 2020. This will be an extra long episode, as you've already seen. Just to compensate for all this. But yeah, uh, basically, I tried to get Daddy. From the looks of it, I'm not going to get him. Sucks, but them's the breaks. Should have dealt with this years back, but I never, um, I didn't have the, I was too nervous when I was younger. So I, I, I've kind of missed out on my opportunity. But also cool new animation. Um, Um, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, I should have dealt with this earlier. And if I, if I miss out on it, it's not that big of a deal, you know. It, and I think I was trying to get at it to lesson, you know, to deal with things when they need to be dealt with, and not to put it off. To be honest, I kind of lost my train of thought there. I got distracted by that the animation and whatnot. So I have no idea if what I said even makes sense. 
I'll check and post, and if needs be, I can edit it. I'm very tempted in stopping now and checking, but no, that defeats, uh, that makes things more awkward. So yeah, I'm just mailing off letters and boxes. So I got a bit of Buddha Sagaris from the, the class order hall missions. Need to get a bit more so I can actually make the damn mount. But yeah, um, yeah, the whole daddy thing is a lesson not to put things off. To try and deal with them as soon as you can, otherwise you will end up missing out on them. It's a, it's a learning experience. I wish it didn't have to come at cost of a bit of my birthday present for that year. But you know what? You know, if it's, it has to come at, at a cost, it's not a bad one, you know? There's worse ones out there. So, yeah. I do love this music. But yeah, the nostalgia trip from getting all those messages, seeing all the old messages and whatnot, was, was painful, almost. Just, just, I know, just, it's painful. It's, um, it's just, it's, it's a hard thing to explain, but it was just, I know, so much, so intense kind of thing, you know? It was rough. Uh, 7,606 gold, 22 silver, and something copper. Not bad. Um, but yeah, it was shockingly rough of, uh, you know, a nostalgia thing. I've had nostalgia before, and <laughs> making it sound like a drug or something. But, you know, it's just surprisingly rough, that's all. So, um, yeah. Messes with your head. But anyway, I don't know why I'm just sitting there. I was probably again ranting and raving, like repeating my point. I, I'll be home with this later on, but I ended up working it out. I'll be, like, uh, my first Old Deer video will come out after the Zandalar raid. It will come out, uh, uh, Bellular Gaming has a, or, uh, it's, that is his YouTube channel, account, right? I, I know it's Bellular, Bellular something, whatever. He has a guest at the next, um, uh, a patch 8.2 will come out in like uh, May, I think he said. Oh no, May, April or May, I think is what he said. It's like I just remember it was a month diff a month earlier than my guess. My first old deer video will come out a month before that, uh, be well, basically a month before his guess of when 8.2 is launching. It's ridiculous. That means that my uh, Zandalar, uh, my, my second raid of this expansion will come out in either late 2019 or early 2020. And given how there is at least, well, there is probably going to be more than one more expansion after that, but then there's that two person, two boss expansion uh, set in uh, the, you know, the. You know, Storm's... Storm Song. You know, the raid there that takes place there. You know, that that's going to take... You know, there's going to be that raid. 
then there's gonna be maybe like two more raids to the expansion. And if, we were, if the guild's gonna be doing on a normal and heroic, and you know, do basically repeating what we did for Old Deer. Ooh, Christ. I, from the looks of it, I, and as I will say and have said, I will be doing a bit, bit of a send off for this expansion. Because I'll just have so much footage for it. I would love to do the, you know, video an hour, every hour, on the hour thing. For, you know, a period of time. Because that would be lovely. Uh, like, uh, say if I had enough videos for it, a month of it. Imagine that. A month of, you know, videos coming out on the hour, every hour. 24 vi hours in a day, 24 videos. And so, I'm going to do quick maths. Bring out the calculator. 24, and presume it's 30 day month. That'll be 720 videos. Seven hundred twenty by forty is twenty-eight thousand eight hundred minutes. If my maths is right, it very well might be. Still, seven hundred something videos or whatever it was is still incredible. Uh, it is a bit overkill. I do recognize that and. It is a bit much, but I just love the idea of it, you know, the conceptually. It just seems awesome, like, I'm in bed and I'm sleeping, every hour on the hour, videos are popping up, I'm, you know, gone to the shop, I'm doing anything else, and there's a video every hour on the hour just popping up. It'll be beautiful. So, yeah. Um, I'd want to back up my videos first, though. I was hearing of one guy getting um, getting in trouble for uploading too much, but I think he uploaded like 50 at once, rather than spacing it out over an hour, over hours, you know? So I think if I did that, I'll be fine. But I can't be sure. I did find a game that I can let's play, and it does look fantastic. Well, not graphically. Graphically, it's a bit meh, but uh, it is pretty fantastic. Um, but it's Tenshi. Tenshi. It's a uh, open-world uh, post-apocalyptic survival game with uh, like squad focus, focus on squads. Uh, I don't know how big squads can be, but you can have like 20 or 30 of them. And it's maybe like 5 or 10 man squads. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, you can also like automate things. So you can set it down for people to, like when they're not you know, you know, fighting, start like bandaging themselves like it's top priority. And then to have, you know, mining from this node if your job's turned on. Uh, the second priority. So they'll always go and mine from an a, a, a orbit when they're, you know, when jobs are on, but they aren't doing that. Or like when they aren't fighting and jobs are on. So it, it just, so you can just have the whole process automated. So you can be off adventuring and doing stuff and you're back at base, they're like building everything up, you know? It's really cool. But we'll be like playing it at some stage, just half an hour. And it will be going up in my like, RPG backlog, which is pretty looking pretty nasty right now. Telling the Witcher to come out, and then there's Path of Exile Betrayal. I'm not sure if I'll do the attention thing afterwards, or if I'll do like Dark Sectors Two or what. But I would love to do it. I I know other things were on the list and early then it, so I feel like I need to go with them in priority, you know? Do love this music. And it, one of my things was already bought. Fantastic. So 
some reason they're looking at me, I'm looking at them. Huh. But yeah, just to go back to the nostalgia thing, just to look for something to talk about. It's rough. My me of things that, you know, good and bad memories from the past. Ones that I wish weren't gone, and ones that I'm glad are gone. It's actually a bit of a rough ride. Still kind of... dealing with it a few days later. Still feel off, you know? But, eh, them's the breaks. We're approaching the uh, final little bit here. But, uh, the kind of finished point about the backlog. Basically, like, yeah, there's the next, the second rate coming up, and that'll be released in like, like 2019 or 2020. Then the third rate with the two man rate, the two boss rate is coming up thereafter, which will probably be released in 2020. Then there's probably gonna be like one or two more content patches, hopefully two, two more, like two big ones, um, to go. And, you know, then the expansion's done. But I'm already, like, basically each expansion's like a two-year affair. And I'm already in the second year of it, and we're only, like, we haven't the second raid out yet. So, yeah. If, if I'm going to go along with that idea, it's, you're going to be getting a lot a lot of footage, like seriously, because I've, like I said, I'm already in second year of it, and we've only had a tiny little taste of the content of the expansion. There is very much there for us right now, so um, you know, it's just it's it's ridiculous. The backlogs, so it's just it's fucking gigantic. Is it raining? Could be. But anyway, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, and I do hope you join me again. Sorry for just basically the last last big bait effect with just being a podcast. But uh, oh, that reminds me, War, War of the Murlocs with Tavern Cast. That was a great little tape. I miss that show. Fantastic. Hopefully, oh, I hope the hosts be the, you know, the like regular hosts, hosts that are left, whatever, guest hosts. Hope they're all doing well. Hope they're all doing well. Last episode, they're talking about be like turning 40 and, you know, the changes, and, you know, work and life and all that. So, yeah, I hope, I hope everyone's going well for them. And to all a good night.